Alright, so I decided I wanted to do a radar detector video. I know it's very dim lit here. It's my dad's radar detector. It's a Cobra. It says it's 14 band. If you look on the bottom, it's an SRS 888 model. Got that a couple years ago for Christmas. And I finally decided to make a video. I'm using a power supply, a 12 volt power supply. Let me get the flashlight. Using one of these, it's rated for 12 volts. 850 milliamps DC it's hooked up two hour gator clips which I have figured out the polarity and they go onto the plug and then that powers the unit now what I have for testing I have this Bushnell K-band baseball radar gun which by the way I really like using it's fun it's enjoyable, it's a good radar gun, it's pretty accurate. The other thing, a DISH TV satellite remote, and this will be for the laser testing because it puts out a certain pulse per second. I'm not sure what it is, but it's enough of a rate that it makes it go off. So, let's get started. Now, I left it unplugged just for safety because I didn't want to leave it plugged in the whole time. System ready. You, can, you can clearly see it works. I'll even unplug it again just to show you guys. Testing. System ready. Everything is default setting except I have X turned off. No pop. So it's just K and KA band, that's it, and the laser. Okay, start out with the Bushnell radar gun. And I'll let you know when I pull the trigger, you'll see that. Okay. K, alert. You can see it clearly picks it up, but it does not have the best reaction time. You know, it. I've estimated it takes roughly half a second. Until it picks up the alert, and then it, of course it's faster. Now the TV remote. Laser alert. As you can see, it clearly picks that up from, I mean, even three feet away, it'll pick it up from the side. The front's even more sensitive. Now, for laser, Unlike the radar, it goes as soon as I touch it. I'll even show you the light. As soon as I touch it. So while radar sensitivity is not the best, laser sensitivity, on the other hand, is actually much better. It has a much faster reaction time than the radar does. Um, yeah, it is infrared. You can see it on the camera. Now, there's one other thing that I would like to show. Since I have the radar gun and the TV remote. Now, you might not notice, but when it's giving the K-band alert and it is hit with laser, it quickly shifts to the laser and some of you would know why and that's because laser 
is a much greater threat, and it goes straight to it. So if I give the K-band alert, which I might have to put this camera down because it's really hard to hold. You know what? I'll just set, set it so that it's looking at the gay, the uh, radar detector. Get my camera set up here. And then I'll show you what it does, basically. Here's what happens when you shoot it with radar and then shoot it with laser. Laser alert. It goes straight over to the laser. I'll do it again. Laser alert. See, it goes straight from the K-band full-on signal to a laser. And that is because laser is a much greater threat. Now, that is all I have. I might make another video of me showing range with...